Hey everyone, I hope you're doing well. So I'm back with another video. And in this video, what we'll do is we'll basically consume a public endpoint. By consuming this public endpoint, we'll be able to avail the endpoint services. So uh, we'll do this in our Spring Boot application. Uh, lastly, to summarize in our last video, what we did was we incorporated Swagger into our application which makes it look something like this with all the swagger endpoints over here where we would be able to interact with the endpoints something similar to what's going on with postman but now we'll take it a step further we'll write another endpoint which will basically uh, hit this this is the public api over here and this is the pattern you need to follow to hit a public endpoint and get the response so i will show you what that endpoint basically does. So if we look at that public API, it's basically this one. It will tell you random facts about cats. That's very cute. So it will give a fact and it will also tell its length, the length of the character. As you see, every time I hit the endpoint, we get a new fact. So that's awesome. Now, now what we'll do is we'll, you can code, code this down. I will uh, push the changes and I will, uh, paste my git rip repository as well. So I have created another get endpoint called call public API and I have passed the string URL and I have called something called as rest template. So rest template is an import from the web framework itself, the spring web framework, which is there in the pom.xml. And we're basically using that rest template and we're getting for object, we're getting every object from this URL. So that's what's happening. And if we open Postman, then you can see in the Postman that now the application is running on my local host in port 8080. It's running successfully. So now if I hit the endpoint, we should be able to get some random facts. So if I hit it again, get some random facts. So note that I'm calling the endpoint from my server from local host 8080 from my own port. And I am actually able to hit, I am actually able to hit this random public API over here to get a response into my server. So that's something really cool. This is the building blocks of developing a full stack application, backend plus front end, and this is really cool. So yeah, that's about it for this video. Uh, until next time for the next video. Thank you.